Well, uh, Mr. Ambassador, it's a great pleasure uh, to welcome you to the Yasan Institute and to this very special program, Our World. Um, this is an opportunity for us to learn uh, more about our neighbors, important neighbors, uh, in terms of art. Uh, you know that uh, uh, Jan Sibelius' uh, Finlandia is, is I don't know how many you, uh, you Finnish people know, but it's very famous in, in Korea. <laughs> I'll tell you what, what, another thing that we all learn when we're growing up, and I'm not sure if Finland is aware of this, but we always learn uh, in school in Korea that uh, the Korean language belongs to the Euro-Altaic language group, and that Finnish is also of that, of that language group. So supposedly our language has something in common. I don't know if you've discovered anything, any common similarities yet. But uh, what I'm trying to say is that Finland is always there in the Korean consciousness, even since we're small kids, uh, through art, through, through uh, national security issues and others. Um, but I, I think that uh, we still definitely need an opportunity like this to really learn more. And I'm grateful uh, for uh, you in accepting this invitation and, and doing this uh, for us. So I very much look forward to your, your presentation today and, and the interaction. Thank you and welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I, I would like to thank Asan Institute and, and EBS channel for inviting me as Ambassador of Finland. It's a great pleasure to be here and to present you something about Finland. I know that here in Korea people know about Finland, but uh, maybe I will be able to deepen the understanding. Finland is a quite, uh, quite interesting country and uh, I hope that uh, you will know more about. I will go my presentation through with these uh, photos which will give you some idea about Finland. First of all, Finland is on the top of the world. It's a European, Nordic and also Arctic country. Maybe the most uh, people living in this Arctic region are Finns. But uh, we are happy. Uh, and despite of the north position of ours, uh, Finland is not so cold. And that is because of the uh, warm sea stream that is coming to, from the Atlantic Ocean, it's coming to warm up. When you fly over Finland, you cannot see but forest, lakes, forest, lakes. That is uh, the Finnish nature. We have uh, around 200,000 lakes in Finland. And from our land, 80% is covered by forests. Our nature and our people are quite homogeneous. Uh, we are speaking special language, as Dr. Ham discussed, uh, expressed, Finnish, which is not the language of uh, Indo-European 
family. In, in the present European Union, there are only three countries where these kind of language, languages are spoken, besides Finland, Hungary, and Estonia. So the Finnish language is very specific, and maybe there is a connection to, also to Korea. I'm not a specialist. Uh, but uh, the language, Finnish language, is not the only official language of ours. We have also Swedish, that is our official language. And actually, uh, our, from cultural heritage point of view, Sweden has influenced a lot. We were more than 600 years part of Sweden, and uh, most of our national institutions are, are from there. The um, fact that we have also been part of Russia, Russian Empire, for 100 years after Swedish rule, Russia took over for 100 years, and during that time we had an autonomous position in the Russian Empire. And uh, uh, people in Helsinki, we are still proud of this, uh, this period because uh, the Russian uh, influence is, is visible in, in Helsinki in a very positive way. Actually, in three years' time, Finland will celebrate 100 years of independence. 1917, Finland declared, uh, was declared independent from Russia. And since that time, we have always maintained our national institutions, our democracy, constitution. And actually, we are very proud that Finland was the very first country in the world with uh, women parliamentarians. 1907, the first women, female parliamentarians in the world were Finns. Here is the group photo of those ladies. And this, this photo is from elections. And as I told you, from the very beginning until now, the, our democratic system has been untouched, and uh, that is something that we are very proud of. And uh, uh, speaking about ladies, you, you might know that Finland is very famous for, for its uh, equality. And uh, one, one sign of that is that we have in the parliament more than 40% of members uh, that are ladies, women, and uh, there are sometimes governments that the majority of ministers have been women. At the moment, it's about 50-50, I, I remember. Well, uh, after the independence, as you know, we had uh, and had, we have a big neighbor, and uh, to live with a big neighbor, it's not always easy. And this led uh, also during the Second World War to a conflict with our neighbor at that time, Soviet Union, and uh, uh, based on the, the idea of um, Stalin to conquer Finland, to occupy Finland, we were attacked in, in uh, 1939, and uh, some people expected that it will be soon over. Independent Finland will be soon over, but um, this, this didn't happen, and uh, Finland was able to defend its independence also during the World War II. We were never occupied. And uh, one, one reason people have uh, thought to be behind that is, is the word Sisu, Finnish word Sisu, which in Korean something like Kangi, maybe, is so. And um, it means uh, uh, 
bra brave uh, resilience and uh, and uh, sometimes difficult to to translate totally but today also it it could mean that uh, it could reflect the stubbornness of Finnish <laughs> Finnish people which might be also true but this sisu uh, partly saved uh, Finland and uh, we are still now independent country after the war Finland started to be active in in the field of peace building in the world actually we were kind of uh, uh, superpower in in peacekeeping operations Finland had uh, Finland have had more than 50 50,000 men and women serving in the peacekeeping operations. Here is one person among us who has been also doing that. Uh, more than, uh, in more than uh, 30, 30 operations around the world. One uh, special occasion in relation to uh, European security architecture took place in uh, 1975 in Helsinki. There was a so-called Helsinki process that led to a con conference on security and cooperation in Europe. And it was quite remarkable. First time after World War II, the 35 heads of state from Europe and North America came to the same table and could agree on the concrete text so-called Helsinki Final Act. And that was quite important later when, when the Europe was uh, turning to a new phase and, and uh, towards the end of Cold War. Uh, one uh, related to peace, one, one definitely one uh, personality in Finland is President Ahtisaari who received the uh, Nobel Peace Prize in 2008, and he is still active. This is maybe a totally different element, but also related to peace. We Finns, we think that uh, there is one secret weapon in order to achieve peace. We can negotiate in a peaceful, uh, relaxed atmosphere. Finnish sauna is, is is sometimes useful for also in this respect. And uh, at the same time, sauna is fin in Finland is something very, very important. It is a crucial part of uh, everyday life of Finland. And it is somehow, it is linking, linking uh, Finns to nature. And uh, there has been also scientific evidence that uh, sauna is, is uh, very good for your health, mainly because it's relaxing. And of course the best thing would be if you, you will be able to go from sauna to a clean Finnish lake to refresh yourself, either in summer or in winter time. Finnish sauna, by the way, is totally family business. There are some other countries, there are saunas that are uh, mixed and so on, but in Finland it's poor, poor family, family business. But after, war, after the war, Finland was still a very uh, agrarian country. So the development after the war until now has been extremely rapid, like in, in Korea. Uh, we started our industrialization and, and also a very strong shipbuilding sector. By the way, at the moment, 60% uh, of the icebreakers in the world are made in Finland. Then, later in the 90s, we faced this um, ICT boom. And uh, it was very strong in Finland so strong that uh, it was not a wonder that, uh, that one of the, uh, actually the mo biggest 
manufacturer of mobile phones at that time came from Finland. And actually in Korea as well, uh, Nokia was once the biggest uh, exporter of mobile phones, big, at the same time biggest foreign exporting company. So in, in that sense we have also cooperated with each other. But behind all this development, there, is, there are three things in Finland. Education, education, and education. Starting from the kindergarten, from the very beginning, until the university. And the central thing in Finland is that uh, the education is free from the beginning until to university. So every Finn can enjoy the high quality uh, education regardless of his or her family or, or the region he or she is coming from. And the university uh, universities are also uh, reflecting also that, that fact. And nowadays I'm happy that there's a strong exchange program between Finland and, and Korea. So many, many Korean students are going to study in Finland and also vice versa. Here are also some of those students and I'm very happy, happy to see you here. I was asked to present two prominent Finnish figures. And first I was tempted to select Tuve Jansson because she is, we are celebrating her 100 year anniversary this year. And she is a writer and artist whose uh, books have been translated to more languages than of anybody else in Finland. The most famous famous figure uh, of her is certainly Moomins. I, and uh, I like Moomins as well. This is, uh, these are so cute, but at the same time they are clever, philosophical, and you can uh, also, the adult, adults can enjoy the Moomin stories. But I didn't select her. <laughs> I didn't. I selected first the most famous Finnish composer, Jean Sibelius. Jean Sibelius is, is definitely the most famous Finnish composer and he was also behind the Finnish identity. He was part of this uh, national movement of Finland. And that is why I would be happy to play you a short video clip from Finlandia. <laughs> 